Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enable SIP mode on the Mitel 5320 or 5320E IP phone. This method might also work with other phones in the Mitel 5300 series. The problem with these phones is that they're primarily targeted to work with the Mitel MyNet protocol. When trying to enable SIP mode, you may run into problems, like the web server not starting properly, or getting stuck at a screen asking you for a TFTP server and language download. Today I'll show you the only method I've found that actually fixes this. First we're going to download the firmware files that you'll need. Thanks to John P over on the MyTel forums for originally sharing them. I've also included a backup copy in the video description in case the original link ever disappears. Once you've downloaded the files, you'll need to unzip them and move them to the base directory of your TFTP server. In my case, I've placed the files into desktop slash TFTP. I'm using a Python library called ptfptd to serve the files, but you can also use other TFPT servers if you prefer. Now let's get started with resetting the phone back to its factory settings. First, disconnect the Ethernet line from the phone. Then, press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons on the phone. While holding them, reconnect the Ethernet cable. Don't release these buttons until you see the network settings page on the display. Now, repeatedly press the pound key until it cycles to tools and features. Press the star key to enter this menu. Repeatedly press the pound key until you find restore defaults. Then press the star key to select. Press the star key again to confirm. Once the phone screen goes blank, immediately hold the volume up and volume down buttons again to re-enter the boot interrupt menu. If you miss it, you'll have to power cycle and try again. Now, repeatedly press the pound key until you find phone mode. Press star to select. Press star again to modify protocol. Press star again to change. Press zero on the keypad to set it to sit mode. Press pound to confirm. Press star to save changes. And press star to reboot the phone. Once again, when the screen goes blank, press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons to enter the boot interrupt mode. Now, repeatedly press the pound key until you reach network parameters and press star to enter. Press pound until you reach static IPv4 settings and then press star to enter. Press pound until you reach modify IPv4 parameters and press star to select it. Click down and then enter your IP address. Use the pound as the period. Click down and then enter the gateway address. Again click down and enter the subnet mask. Continue scrolling. The host name and proxy settings are fine unless your network requires changes. Then enter the TFTP server IP address. Click down, enter the TFTP server port, and click down once again and enter the DNS servers. Usually one is required. Once you've entered these, continue scrolling down until you see store changes. Then press star to save and press pound to deny reboot. Then we want to exit the menu with star. Now we want to be able to force the firmware upgrade. Press pound until you reach upgrade settings. Press star to enter. Once again, press star to modify. Press star again to change. Press zero to select the force firmware upgrade mode. Press pound to accept. Press star to save changes. And press star again to reboot. When the phone reboots, you will now have a prompt for the firmware upgrade via TFTP. Press star to accept and let it complete the upgrade process. After the upgrade, you should be able to open a web browser and access the phone from its IP address. The default username is admin and the default password is the phone's model number. For this instance, the default password is 5320E. For a quick test, I'm going to set up this phone with a VoIP provider. Go to the quick start on the left side. Enter your user ID, display name, SIP username, SIP password, and SIP server information. Click apply. Hello, hello, hello. This is a test. Hello, hello, hello. hello. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it helps you, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more videos.